Hello everybody, I got you here at the mobile home that we're setting up and I want to show you a really easy way to level out a mobile home. Uh, we're going to be using a, a water level and it's super simple. So all you're going to need is about a hundred feet of uh, clear tubing and uh, a bottle of Kool-Aid or something else that has a little bit of color easy to see. Um, I believe this is uh, some type of Kool-Aid. And I have uh, just uh, silicone, I cut a little hole in there and I silicone that in so it doesn't leak. And make sure you don't have the cap on there. So what you want to do is get all the air bubbles out of that hose. Let the juice let the juice run into the hose first. Once you get it all filled up, then you got to work the air bubbles out. We'll set this up here. So, usually don't have too many air bubbles, but uh, if you have one, it'll screw you up. Yeah, there's some right there. So just let the air bubble climb out. We want the juice to make it to the, close to the end of the pipe, close to the end of the. Uh, the end of the hose without getting an air bubble in it. Okay, once we got the Kool-Aid close to the end, with no air bubbles, and uh, we want to put a cap in that. So I just uh, got a screw with some electrical tape, capped it off. Now, we want to put this side on the part that you think will be the highest, or at least that's the way I'm doing it. I'm putting this on the highest spot that I think. So there, I got it. And now I want to fill the jug up. I want to fill the jug up to where it's, uh, equal with the frame there. So I need a uh, half a quart or so. So just uh, fill that up until it. Once it stops wiggling, I think we'll be close. Might be a little high. If you have it a little bit high, dump some out the end. I put too much in, so let some out the end here. I'll dump out. I think we're right there. Anyway, I can I can just see it at, right at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that, but now we just take the other end all the way to wherever we, I just took it to each pier and uh, leveled it. So it's been about three weeks since I've done this. So I'm just checking before I, uh, before I put the tile in. So I got this, the end of this hose all the way on the opposite end of the mobile home. What I do is take that plug out. Make sure, make sure you got it higher than the chug. So, and then what I do is I just take my clamp and I clamp it like that. So to me, that 
that needs to be jacked up a little bit quarter inch so I think I'm going to do that uh, so I'm going to ja jack right under that uh, that thick plate uh, otherwise I would put that's where I cut off the tongue otherwise I would put I would put some uh, piece of metal under there between the frame and the jack because other people have done done it without and it bends the frame so you don't want to do that so we're going to go up a little bit with this. I'm using an 8 ton jack and it seems to work just fine. Oh, I need to readjust this here. I want to, since this is a C frame, I want to jack closer to this side so it doesn't bend it in. Not there, sorry. So that's what we're looking at. We still need a little bit more. And you can just watch it. You can just watch it level out. We're just about there. That's actually right. Probably once I it's a little high, but I think once I once I uh, load the load the uh, the post or whatever you call this, load the um, the pier. I think it'll be. I think it'll be right on. Lower the lower the jack and see. I think I think that's right on it. So you just take the uh, take the end of this hose to all the piers and level the frame out with this. Super easy. And it doesn't matter how far you could go. If you had a, if you had a, uh, a hose that was a mile long, it would work the same way. Uh, you can go as far as you need to with the end of that hose. So when I take it off, just plug the end so you don't. Before you take it off, just plug the end so you don't lose all your all your Kool-Aid. There you go. Now you can take take that to the next side. Take the jack out. And we're going to that one. We're here at the second pier and I'm just clamping that loosely. I'm going to take out the plug. I can get it out. There we go. Now this one looks, oh man. Oops. So I won't even need to clamp it. I think this one's perfect. Once it stops moving, you'll see it's right, right there. So I don't need to do anything with this pier. Okay, you can just go to the next one till you're all done. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it up there and see. Maybe we're good. Yep, that one is good too. Right there. Don't need to touch this one. Okay, that's the third one. We're going to the 
to the next one. Uh, now these are uh, spaced every eight feet. Uh, see, I put a mark there every eight feet. And uh, it seems like we had two cinder blocks and then uh, some solid blocks underneath, like a, like a four by, eight by 16 by four. And there's two of them under there. Um, let me cap this. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's uh, it, it. There's two under there, so it's got a good solid uh, foot. It hangs over on each side. Okay, now we're going to the next. Take the plug out if I can. There we go. Uh, this one lost a little bit of, not much though. Man, that's like, that's probably only like an eighth of an inch, but I'm still gonna jack it up. So, got my jack set up. I did have a, a thick metal jacking plate, but I couldn't find it. And I'm just trying to show you that you could really use anything, um, just as long as you have something. Look at what somebody else tried it without without support, and it just digs. These things are heavier than what you think, and uh, you'll just damage the frame if you if you try to jack on the frame. So I've got uh, a two by four and just a flat crowbar. And I think that should work just fine. And you can see we need to go up just a tiny. jack too much yet. Okay. What are we doing? Well, we maybe went up a tiny little millimeter. Now we're right there. Now we're right there, but we're gonna uh, go up just a tiny bit more, just to, um, just to, so that we can load the pier. I figured you gotta go up just a little hair more than what it's actually saying, so. There we are, we're just a tiny, tiny bit more. And we'll get the, the block in there, block in there. Oops. I don't know what that noise was. Came from the jack. Or maybe I snapped my crowbar, I don't know. Not really centered on there too good, am I? I'm gonna go ahead and let it down and see what happens. I actually need a, another sixteenth of an inch or so. To make it perfect, let's get this. Okay. Oh, can't really do it with one hand. 
So yeah, that noise is the wood, that noise is the wood cracking. I just got an old two by four and, and uh, if you don't have a piece of metal on your two by four, you're just gonna sink into it. So uh, no matter how old it is. You know, we're totally safe under here no matter what happens to that jack because we got all kinds of piers under here. Okay, let's see here. I just need to get this a little tighter. Maybe needs to come up even a little bit more. I don't know. I think I will go up just a hair more. I don't think I'm barely lifting it at all. Or I'm not sliding the, not sliding the, not getting that tight enough because I'm just pushing it with one hand. If I pounded that tighter, it would help, but let's see. Okay, I see we're cracking that board. Okay. We're right there now. Okay, we're going to the next one. There we go. Unplug it. Obviously, don't want to. Uh, you don't want to level it with the bottom one. You want to level it with this one. And that one I'm gonna call good. This is right there. Okay, here we are at the next one. Didn't have to jack the last one. Hold it up and wait. This one is uh, pretty good. Absolutely perfect in my opinion. Okay. On to the next. That's actually done with one side. And I go to the other side. Okay, I'm on the front pier again. Opposite side. Plug out. Hold it up. And wait for it to... I really look on the camera it looks worse than it is because of the shadow but that's really close um, I will jack it a little bit okay this one I'm jacking under where the tongue was cut off again so I don't need to worry about that board and the plate it's got enough support there so here we go Going up a little bit
got a little bit of space there so we can uh, see if that's enough to hold it. Tighten up the, the shim. Be perfect, we need another millimeter. Mm, yeah, yeah, a little bit. I don't know, we're close though. I'm gonna go up just a tiny. The jack has to sink into the ground before we lift the home up. I'm thinking that'll do it. If it's not too high, anyway. There we go. No, we're right there. Exactly. Uh, yeah, exactly perfect. Okay, on to the next. Okay, here we go. And there's the next one. Oh, I got a kink. There we go. There we go. Yeah, see, this one's super close too, but it, to be perfect, we need another millimeter. Okay, we're going up on this one ever so slightly. It's very close, but we're still going up about a millimeter. see that but it's it's perfect right right on the frame okay so we got one two three five more to go so here we are checking the next one it's still this is probably the worst one it's like Maybe a quarter inch. So we're raising, raising this one up. This one was a little bit out of whack. close to perfect but I'm gonna go up a little bit more so it can settle down so. oh, my jack's not sitting very well on that I gotta go readjust that okay okay there we go Sorry about that. Back up. OK, 
Okay, we're back to level, but we want to go up a little bit. Our boards are cracking. Okay, I'm thinking that's gonna be, I'm gonna be right on the bubble when I let it down. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Calling that good. Cause it's perfect. Alrighty. Next one. Next one is there. We got four more. So next one. I'm still gonna get that one up just a little bit. We're gonna make this perfect. Oops, I moved the thing. I'll see how it readjusts. Just a tiny, 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 tiny bit up. Okay, going up. the max of the jack okay let it down and uh, put my screw up here going back up I right, give my jack a little bit extra height okay we're right level but we gotta get a little bit higher. Okay. Yeah. You can see I got a little air under the, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little air under there. My board's not liking that very much. Okay. Might need to hammer that one in because I don't want to jack it too much more. Okay. Okay, I tapped that in with a hammer. We're a little high. And we're going to let her down. There we go. Okay, I'm going to call that good because that looks good. Well, that's what it looks like. Uh... This whole side must have sank just a little bit. Cause that's still just a little bit too low. Jack it up a little bit and call it. There we go. Okay, again, we don't need a jacking block because there's an extra piece of metal across here. Um, we are just uh, slightly low, so here we go. Going up. I don't mean to make 
you sick with the camera work, but it's hard to get under here and film this. And do the work. Okay, here we go. We're getting some, we're getting a little bit of air there. See the air now. And we're probably level. Let's see. Get on the other side of that. We are really good there, but we're going to go up a little bit. A little bit. I'm maxed out on the jack, so I hopefully I get that tight enough to to not lose very much on that. Yeah, I did not lose any. I think we're good. Let's see. I'm calling that good. Okay, last two. Let me check the last one here real quick. Okay, I clamped it so I wouldn't have to hold it and uh, honestly, that looks pretty dang good. I'm gonna call that good. I'm not gonna make that any different. So. Okay. We verified that all, let's see, how many blocks do we got? We got 14 blocks all together, and we have uh, verified that they're all level. I'll put that back so we don't lose our Kool-Aid. So there we got it. We got it all done. You, uh, you were there with me and seen how easy that was. Um... It really is that easy and uh, extremely cheap. The only part you have to buy is that 100 foot hose. Uh, I just got mine on Amazon. I don't remember the cost, it was a few dollars. Uh, we're level, I'm, I'm really, I'm really quite surprised. Uh, I did that three weeks ago and it's still, I don't think we, the worst, worst part we had, a, jack was probably less than a quarter inch um most of them were just like a millimeter and uh so i'm very satisfied with that and i'm i'm uh i'm ready to put the tile down in this in this home and i'm confident that it'll be good to go um thanks everybody for watching like and subscribe